Hi, I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries, and this is the Atari Fruit Joystick. It's a Bluetooth controller that I've created from an original Atari 2600 joystick, the legendary CX40. Now, normally, there's a big long wire coming off of this, but in this case, there's no wire involved at all. It's a Bluetooth controller. I've put an Adafruit Feather NRF52 microcontroller in here, and I'm using it to send keyboard commands over to my iPad that are then interpreted by the iCade standard as joystick and button presses. To test out my Atari Fruit joystick, I've got a Ms. Pac-Man game here on my iPad. Now let's have a look at the guts of the controller and how I turned it into a Bluetooth controller. Here you can see the original printed circuit board or PCB of the Atari joystick and I've kept that intact. The way this works, there are these little contacts, these little half domes, and when they are pressed down, they bridge a contact between one of the pins and ground. So, for example, when we press this top button, that will send the up signal to the original console over a wire. What we're doing now to create a Bluetooth connection is I'm using this NRF52 feather, and I've got one connection per direction and button plugged into different digital input pins on the microcontroller as well as a common ground plane. So when one of these buttons is pressed by the joystick rocking and pushing down to bridge the contact, what happens is the NRF52 feather sends a command over Bluetooth to the iPad and it's using something called the iCade standard. Now the iCade standard uses keyboard shortcuts. So for example, when you push the joystick in the up direction, a W key is sent, and that indicates hold the up key. When you release from the direction to center or go to one of the other directions on the joystick, an E key is sent to say we're done with holding that button. And there are different keyboard shortcuts that represent all the directions and the fire button that I'm using to control the iPad. Powering it all is this 500 milliamp hour 3.7 volt LiPo battery. In order to recharge the battery, I've got a little micro USB breakout board connector here, so you can just plug it into any 5 volt USB. I've also got a little on off switch here that sends a signal to the enable pin on the microcontroller, and when that enable pin is grounded, it shuts down. So we can turn it on and off and preserve battery life. Once I've uploaded the Arduino software to that microcontroller and turned it on, it will then attempt to pair with your iOS device. So I can see here, I've named this the Atari Fruit Joystick 2. I have two of them, so I need to differentiate their names so I can connect them both for two-player action. And here, once you press connect when it originally shows up, it will pair to the device as a keyboard. You can test out your joystick acting like a keyboard by just going to any software where you type in notes. And you'll see as I push forward, I get a W. When I release, I get an E. And so on with all of the different directions and the fire button. Now for something a little more fun, I'm going to play some Yars Revenge, which is a classic 2600 game. And now I'm playing it on my iPad with the proper joystick wirelessly. That is the Atari Fruit Joystick. I'm John Park for Adafruit Industries, and I hope you've enjoyed this.